Here's a new part number for a Dura Spark box over there. But to help you out, I thought I'd show you how to know when yours is bad and what these wires mean on here, what they should go to to simplify. If your box isn't working, your ignition wasn't working, what the wires mean. So, you see, I got the new one already in, but uh, I thought I'd show you how I have mine set up. Red wire should get 12 volts from the key. White one doesn't really matter. Now, on this, on this other lead, your green. Coming out of this should be your ground to your coil. So the negative post in your coil should be connected to this green wire through this connector. And the black, purple, and orange should go to your distributor and your hall effect sensor and, re and reluctor wheel. Oh, wasp. Oh. Anyway. Red is 12 volts from the key. Green goes negative push in your coil. And the other three, black, purple, and orange, go to your distributor. Those are your DuraSpark wires. So, uh, I don't got wasp isn't around here. Set, set this box down. Oh, and, uh, while well, I'm here, if you have one of these Ford alternators that use an external regulator and you don't know if it's working, this uh, green and red wire that comes out of it should get 12 volts whenever your key is on. All you gotta do is hook it up to the battery directly and it'll turn that box on and you're, you should be getting 13 or so volts whenever you have that hooked up to 12 volts. So. That's how you test if it's good or not. But uh, this this engine won't run very long because I gotta manually fill the carburetor up. But I can start it up and give you a little listen. As long as that wasp isn't around here. That wasp around here, you're gonna die. All right, enough being a little baby. Take that gear and start it up. There you go. Man, these things are bulletproof. Fill up the carburetor. Yeah, out of gas. All right, well, that's all.